So how well do you guys think that you know Roblox Piggy? Because today, in this video, we are going to be going over 50 secrets in Roblox Piggy. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are literally going to be going through 50 secrets throughout the entirety of Piggy. So today's video is going to be huge. So I hope you guys have got some popcorn ready. Now today, guys, there is going to be a couple of Robux codes hidden in today's video. So I know that this video is a pretty long one, but if you guys are, you know, watching the entire thing, then I'm pretty sure that you've got a pretty good chance of finding some Robux codes and if you do find them and you do manage to redeem them then please let me know in the comment section so that i know who i've given them to but guys we have been doing this series for maybe around three to four months now where we've been doing these top 10 secrets in piggy now today we're going to be putting all of those together and basically making a movie so i hope you're ready for today's video but first honestly guys if you could be using starcode antics when you're buying robux or premium that would be so much appreciated Appreciated. I still get these emails and it still blows my mind as to how many of you guys are actually using star code antics guys Thank you so much But please make sure you take pictures and send them to me because I really want to appreciate those guys that actually go out of their way To use my star code. We're also getting extremely close to 200,000 subscribers So if you guys are not yet a subscriber of this channel, then would you kindly please do so? Uh, thank you. <laughs> so guys 50 secrets Guys, let's do this. Number one, Leo Lion. Now again, this is something that I have been going over quite a lot, but this is something that you may actually not know. Now I did cover this in a recent video, but I'm going to cover this again. So a friend of mine, Piggy Discussions, actually went ahead and messaged Minitoon and they basically said, hey Minitoon, hope you're having a great day. I noticed that there are binoculars hidden in the port chapter. And that's not a coincidence. A secret in the map when we've seen binoculars before has to mean something got to belong to Leo. The only thing I'm confused about is that the binoculars are still there in the alleys in Intercity. Since Intercity takes place after book two, this means one of four things. A. It is the same binoculars, but we haven't been updated in Intercity yet. B. They are the same, but this part of the storyline wasn't thought out when Intercity was released. C. We're all overthinking and they're just binoculars. D. You have something bigger planned. Now prior to this, I did actually make a theory that, you know, Leo is on the move. He started off in the alleys and now he has kind of like made his way over to the port map because you can see that his binoculars are right up there at the top of the stairs and right underneath the barricade, you can basically see that someone is literally alive upstairs and they're saying, don't come upstairs because I feel safe. Well, Minitoon actually went ahead and replied to Piggy discussions and this is the secret that you guys guys will not know about. So Minitoon then replied saying they shouldn't be in Intercity. That's what I'll say. So it looks as though we're going to be seeing these binoculars kind of turn up and then disappear in different parts of the map. So obviously they showed up in the alleys and then we got Intercity. And then in Intercity, the binoculars should have been taken out of the alleys, which means Leo is on the move. We then get Piggy Book 2, Chapter 7, The Port, and these binoculars show up again. So guys, Leo the Lion is literally upstairs in the port map right now. Leo is literally hiding away. He's not coming out. He is right up there. Now, what does he know? Why do we want to see him? Guys, only time will tell. Number two, Intercity Timeline. Now, this is something that I actually didn't even realize until the other Day. I actually had to go and message Minitoon and get some confirmation for myself. So I went to Minitoon and I said, hi there, hope you're okay. I have just a question as I'm doing a video tomorrow and people seem to have said that you have said somewhere that Intercity takes place after Piggy Book 2. Is that correct? And Minitoon got back to me pretty quick actually, just one minute later, basically saying, yes, that's right. Now this actually changed 
an awful lot about the future of Piggy. It actually tells us how the future is going to plan out because there are still a few things in Intercity that does actually describe the end of Piggy. And I'm going to get into it very, very minimal here and do another completely separate video on this another day. Now, the reason why this is quite interesting is just simply because obviously there are still infected characters roaming around in Intercity. So at the end of Piggy Book 2, it looks as though not everybody is going going to be cured so there are still going to be infected characters running around at the end of book two but also there is one more very interesting thing that I want to speak about here and there is the fact that there is an insolence eye in the school map now this is interesting because if there's an insolence eye in the school map which is you know new to actually in intercity because it's not there in book two or book one or whatever you guys want to call it but the interesting fact is that this could mean that whatever the insolence is going to be or whoever the insolence is going to be is not going to be defeated and they are still going to be there for Intercity. Now I must say that I think that this is actually a crazy secret and to know the fact that Intercity does take place in time after book two and that there is still an insolence eye in Intercity must mean only one thing and that is that the insolence is not going to be defeated. Number three. Secret TSP member. Now, I'll be honest to you guys, this is the secret that I think is actually pretty big. And we actually have some evidence in game of there being a completely brand new TSP member that we have not yet met. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys over to the refinery and you're going to go up into the washing room and you are going to see a note in between the washing machines. Now that note reads out, Dear Kitty, Quit putting your pink clothes with our uniforms. My uniform is pink now, thanks to you. Now, at first, this note really didn't mean an awful lot. However, this one is actually pretty hidden inside of the map. It is found right in between two washing machines. But I want you guys to actually read this note very, very carefully. Dear Kitty, quit putting your pink clothes with our uniforms. My uniform is pink now, thanks to you. So there is a TSP member out there somewhere with pink uniform. Now, of course, this note wasn't signed by anyone. So whoever wrote this note, it is still a complete mystery. And there is still a TSP member out there somewhere with pink uniform. So I would love to know what do you guys think about this note. Again, let me know in the comment section down below because I really do think that this one right here is a pretty big one. Number four, George's Infection. Now way back in book one, we actually got a secret map called the Distorted Memory. And in this map were quite a few secrets. We had those red eyes in the sky man those things are still giving me nightmares and one thing that i bet that quite a few of us have actually forgotten about is that george got infected now i know what you're gonna say you're gonna say to me that he was in a dream you know he was dreaming he was sleeping this is it was just his nightmare and etc 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 however guys george actually woke up in the cutscene, meaning that it was now real life. So this is an extremely weird distorted memory. And we know that the insolence has been speaking to Pony, it's been speaking to the player, and potentially in the future, it is going to be speaking to George. In my opinion, a part of the infection, it actually lays in Pony, the player, and George. I feel like those three characters, they have some form of the infection inside them, which is why these guys are being able Able to speak to the insolence but don't forget guys that George is infected he has this infection thing going on and it has also happened to him before because he says oh no not now number five Gary Gorilla Gary the Gorilla is going to be a character that we are going to be seeing in the future. I'm almost certain. So if I take you guys to the port map right here at the bottom of the board, you can see that there is a little note speaking about Gary because apparently Gary is a little cheap guy and he makes you try and pay for everything. I mean, if I was at the side with him, I'd be like, boy, pay for your food. Oh, and why are you there? Too. So obviously this kind of billboard thing only mentions Gary. However, I'm kind of linking Gary towards a gorilla because in the store map, you see that there is the gorilla airways, kind of like, 
you know, Kitty's Kitchen and Grandma's Poutine and all of that stuff, there is also a Gorilla Airways literally right there. Now, of course, because we get all of this like Zizzy, Zebra and Mimi the Mole and Giraffe the Giraffe, <laughs> I'm putting the two and two together, so I feel like this Gary guy could actually be Gary the Gorilla. Now, I'm actually excited to see what Gary the Gorilla is going to be like. Could Gary the Gorilla actually be one of the people down in that Medora boat? I'm not so sure. I would probably say no. I think that we're probably going to be meeting Gary the Gorilla at some point in the future. But I do think that this is a pretty cool little secret just to be adding in here. Number six, winter holiday secret. Now this one is quite interesting. So with the winter holiday event, we actually had an end cutscene which kind of caught my attention because we were speaking and we said to everybody, did you even see that? Did any of you even see that? I even ran through the cabin with it behind me. Now the interesting thing here is that we get a response that we probably wasn't really expecting. Now Pony does reply saying, strange, we didn't see that at all. Also, did you just run out and find gifts for us all? Now, this is actually a really interesting secret. The reason being is that Pony didn't even see anybody going behind us. Now, this is interesting because it looks as though potentially the detective or the player or the character, us, who we are playing, could well be actually hallucinating. After all, Mr. P basically said about the memories in the uh, at the end of the outpost when we basically went to chase him. So maybe we're kind of hallucinating and going along the same lines of Mr. P. Now, the fact that Pony didn't even see it and, you know, this whole thing was basically running all the way through the cabin like every single time is pretty weird. And I do believe that there is more meaning behind this, more secrets behind this that could be unveiled in the future. Number seven, Ikea's tweets. Now, just before book two hit our screens, Ikea's was actually tweeting out a few things. Now, just before you guys get into this and, you know, look into this a little bit more, just be careful because Ikea's, sometimes she likes to say that, you know, most of these like little things that she puts out are about her game. Although Minitoon actually did reply to these tweets, basically saying, ahoy, is this a piggy book two leak? So it looks as though these tweets in particular do have something to do with the future future of Piggy. So guys, here are the tweets. Now this is the one that got most people speaking about. Now this one says, this is the captain speaking. We're going to experience a little bit of turbulence and then a lot of falling. Now a lot of people did think that maybe we're going to be getting some form of like plane map or airport or something like that. But now guys, now we know that we are going to be getting a boat. So it looks as though that that is what Ikea's was hinting towards. But guys, she did also tweet out two more things as well. So Ikea's did also tweet out here saying, if you look out the window to the right wing, you can see the burning remains of the left wing. So we've got Minitoon being the king of like these hidden messages and we've got Ikea's also being the queen of these hidden messages. These messages are really cool and that's what most gets you guys thinking and your brains also kind of ticking away. But also guys, there is one more tweet that Ikea's did tweet about and this one's quite interesting because it does actually reveal a character's name. Now this tweet is, hi, my name's Dr. Morgan. I have some bad news and good news. If you'd like, I can send you the good news to your new widow. Now, this one's quite interesting because this one looks as though that we're basically having this conversation while dead. So this could potentially be Mr. P or something like that. And that Mrs. P is obviously the new widow because Mr. P could potentially have died. But the interesting thing about this is that, hi, my name's Dr. Morgan. So guys, in the future of Piggy Book 2, we're going to have to look out for some kind character called Morgan. And of course, Piggy has been all about doctors. It's been about the hospital. That's where the infection started. So it's quite interesting that Ikea's was tweeting about a Dr. Morgan. So guys, most definitely keep your eyes peeled for this one. Number eight, the scarf. 
Crazily enough, this is something that I actually never noticed. So I would love you guys to let me know in the comment section down below, did you guys even notice this very small secret? So if you take a look at Willow, you can clearly see that she is wearing, you know, her normal outfit. She's got like a purple top underneath. She's also wearing like a jumper. But one thing that is actually quite interesting here is that she is wearing a scarf. Now guys, you may think that this is Willow's scarf, but in fact, this is is Williams. So if I take you to the end cutscenes in Piggy Book 2 Chapter 6, you can see that just as William does leave this like little room that is inside of the alleys, he basically leaves his scarf behind. And then in the next scene, you can see that Willow is literally just sat down on the floor with William's scarf in her hands. And that is literally all that Willow has left to remind herself of her little brother. So that is the reason why Willow is wearing a scarf. It's not actually her scarf. She is actually wearing her little brother William's scarf to remind her of him. I mean, is that crazy that I didn't know that? Because I feel like I should have known that. that like, that's quite a simple one, but I feel like I just never even realized or spotted that very small, tiny little detail. Number nine, secret into city notes. Now, I actually spent quite quite some time last night trying to figure out these codes. Now, courtesy of a good friend of mine here, Big B Stats, I did take a couple of screenshots out of his video right here, so hopefully he doesn't mind, but these are all of the notes that can be found inside of Intercity. Now, obviously, these actually all spell out something, and I do think that I've actually cracked one of the notes. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this one right here literally spells out William. Why do I think that? Well, that's because there are two I's in William and there are also two L's in William, which means there are two P's and two J's in this very letter. So either the P could be an L or an I or the J could be an L or an I. So I do believe that this word right here could well spell out William. After all, Minitune did say that these notes are going to reveal something pretty big about the future of Piggy. However, still nobody has managed to figure out what this code actually means. And as far as I'm aware, I am probably the closest to actually figuring out what this means. So I will be doing a little bit more digging on this i'm going to try and work this out over the weekend and hopefully by the beginning of next week i'm going to come back to you guys with a brand new video telling you guys exactly what these codes mean number 10 swimming now i did do a little bit of a video on this recently so i'm going to go and show you guys how to go swimming in piggy book two chapter seven so what you're going to do is you are basically going to spawn in on the port map and then you're going to go over to this like little bit of fencing right over here and of course if you guys have seen the glitching uh, video th with the whole spinning around zooming out spinning back in all that sort of stuff what you're basically going to do is you're going to crouch you're going to go all the way back up onto the fencing you're then going to zoom out with your character and then you're going to turn around so that you're facing your character and then you are going to zoom straight straight back in so as you're going to do it as fast as you can and you're basically just going to glitch right through those fences now of course once you go through the fence you can literally just uncrouch and then you can literally go swimming now this was a feature that minitoon was actually going to add in in the sewers map but managedly he didn't really get to do it because of the whole narrow kind of like passageways and stuff like that i'm pretty sure that alphys was supposed to come out of the green sewers but this is now actually added in to Piggy chapter 7 which I did think was pretty cool so you guys can actually go ahead and check out this feature for yourself. Number 11 Katie's Cross Now when this skin was released in the factory there was some really big controversial moments around this skin. Now this is something that actually I learned at the time as well. Now apparently in video games you're not actually allowed to have a red cross on a skin. I mean, you're not allowed to have a red cross in a game at all. Apparently, this whole little cross thing, it is forbidden in games. Now, Minitoon did put a red cross on the hat of this Katie the Nurse skin, and I'm pretty sure that since then, Minitoon had to remove the cross.
Now, I can't exactly remember the reason as to why you cannot have these red crosses in video games. Now, I'm going to Google it, and if I find something, I'll put it on the screen for you guys to read literally right now. But Katie once had a red cross on her hat and since then had to be removed due to it being some form of weird law. Number 12. Three mini tune words. Now again, we did do an interview with Minitoon maybe about a month or two ago and he did speak about the future of Piggy Book 2 and he did actually give us three words to describe the ending of Piggy. Now guys, we're going to go through those three words. Of course, if you guys have seen that video, then you will probably know what these three words are going to be, but I'm just going to bring them up just one more time so that we can keep them nice and safe in our minds. So the three words that many Toon did give us were insanity, isolation, and choices. Now the insanity I do believe is to do with something that we are going to be quite alone in book to the ending. Minitoon did speak about us going alone by ourselves, and that we're going to feel quite isolated from maybe the world and other characters. So that I'm quite interested to see how that's going to plan out. Isolation obviously goes in with the insanity. Obviously you're going to be quite isolated from a lot of people and choices that is obviously to do with Piggy book two chapter six with all of the choices and making sure that you make the right choices at the end kind of deciding which cutscene you wanted to take which also guys means that we are going to be getting four cutscenes per chapter in the future which is going to be huge and i'm pretty sure that the ending of piggy is probably going to give us maybe five cutscenes so again i'm really excited to see that traditionally i normally ask you in our interviews uh describe the next six chapters in three words oh boy. do you have an idea <laughs> do we need to come back to it i think i can come up with a few okay uh, i've used, just, I've used I've some seen, of these before for previous yeah, chapters is it decisions and things like that oh for previous one chapters. of them would be choices yeah yeah choices, one of them yeah, would be I remember choices that one. I, mm -hmm. Because, like I said, your choices in uh, chapter six will matter uh, yep. in the in the future chapters for sure. Yep. Um, yep. Maybe not so much gameplay wise, but story wise, there's a lot of things you might miss out on if you're if you're uh, only doing one ending. So. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Take your time. Well, actually, you probably yeah. can't because you've got to <laughs> skid out. Yeah, no worries. No <laughs> worries. Uh, choices is one of them. Yeah. Um, I'll say isolation. Isolation. Okay. Yep. That's okay. I, I I guess I can get what that's towards, but yes, I get that. And uh, insanity. Insanity. Ooh. Yeah. These are some yeah. good words. There you go. Choices, <laughs> insanity, and the other word, uh, the one where you're. By isolation. Yourself. Yep. Isolation. There you go. Yeah. I couldn't get it. It was too close to the other one <laughs> to say. Number 13. Owl. Now there were quite a couple of skins that were kind of being leaned towards being owned by another skin, if that makes sense. For example, we have Dino Piggy. Now, George, you know, he had the dinosaur that did exist in the distorted memory map. And everybody thought that this Dino Piggy character may have been in some kind of like way of George's toy, if you get what I mean. I think I explained that very bad, I'll be honest. But guys, we have a brand new one that could be hinting towards being owned by another character. So I'm going to show you guys this picture right here. Now, this is, of course, Peppa Pig. Now, this right here is, again, Susie the Sheep, which is sheepy in Piggy. Now, as you can see in Susie the Sheep's hand, she is holding an owl. Now, that's quite interesting, guys, because we actually already have an owl skin in Piggy. So it looks as though that Sheepy and Owl could well be linking together here. It looks as though that the owl skin could well be owned by Sheepy. And this is actually something that I only noticed the other day as well, when I was doing all of the copyright videos. As I was putting Susie the Sheep up on the screen, I was like, 
Hey, she actually holding an owl. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so that is why I included this secret into today's video. Number 14, ghosts. Now this is most definitely something that all of us will remember, but it was a pretty big secret and a pretty big talking point when these ghosts actually did come out. So the first appearance of a ghost was Bunny in the outpost, up in the tower, and that was a pretty big talking point when everybody saw that ghost. Everybody thought that Bunny had potentially died at the end of the metro map. However, it kind of shows the ghost in the tower, so maybe it's kind of a living ghost, potentially maybe it's a dead ghost. I mean, nobody really knows exactly how it actually works out. However, I'm sure a lot of us have played this map by now, but in the plant map, right at the end, in the final battle, with Mr. P, you can clearly see that Bunny and Doggy are both glitching around the map. So maybe they're out there somewhere and that their souls were just potentially taken by something. Because I mean, let's face it, we normally have haunted houses because somebody has potentially died or passed away in that house, meaning that their soul or their ghost or their presence remains in that house. However, Doggy actually kind of got infected way back in the forest and he never died. He was infected. He was still walking around that forest. As well as Bunny, she most definitely probably by now got infected at the end of the metro. However, her soul, her presence then decided to go on to the plant as well as Doggy. So that is one thing that is slightly confusing, but one of the biggest secrets that I think that Piggy has potentially ever came out with. Number 15, Whiteboard. Now we have had two whiteboard messages inside of Piggy and they were really, really difficult to try and figure out. So the first whiteboard message actually appeared in the school map and that whiteboard message did actually read out saying, I feel everything I do. I can't control my actions. I can't help myself. My mind yells for help, but my body does not agree. I wish the world would understand. Now, considering that this actually came out in the school map, we are potentially leading towards this being teacher. However, I have said this before in previous videos. Now, the reason why I want to call this one a little bit of a secret is if the body does not agree, then how is this person actually writing on a whiteboard? So could there actually be somebody else out there that is writing this on the whiteboard, pretending to be an infected. We also had a second whiteboard message which did appear in the outpost once she kind of blew up the door with the tank. And that whiteboard message actually read out saying, I was attacked by one of them and now I am here wandering just like them. Now, of course, because this one also came out in the outpost, maybe this one was the torture. However, at this point, it's kind of difficult to try and figure out what sort of characters are canon and which sort of characters are not. Now, we have no other reason to actually believe that this was torture that did write this. However, again, there could be somebody out there that is pretending to be infected. Number 16, the refinery. Now I know we're chilling in the same map here. We literally just had a refinery secret, but again, we are going into another secret in the refinery that you guys, I bet, probably forgotten about. Now this did actually get spotted when the refinery came out and it did get spoken about for quite some time. However, it kind of looks as though it's gone under the radar a little bit. Now this secret is the fact that there is this six and five on the refinery sign that has been blurred out and changed to a different number. Now some people are saying that it was a six and it's changed to a five or it was a five and it's now changed to a six. So do you know what guys? I'm not even gonna give my opinion. I'm just gonna let you go guys think exactly what you want to think. However, the moral of the story here, guys, is that it has most definitely changed for some reason. Now, could it be due to, I don't know, maybe a TSP member that has potentially passed away recently or one that has been kicked out of the clan? For example, 
Tigri. Now, obviously, that one is relating from the six to the five. Now, I'm going to speak about the five to the six. So now maybe a TSP member has also been hired. So maybe a, a TSP member has recently been brought in to the clan. But Minitoon and Ikeas, they wouldn't have put that there for absolutely no reason. There is a reason why this number has changed from a five to a six or a six to a five, whatever you want to say. And at this moment in time, I still can't put my finger as to why this has actually changed. Number 17, the forest object. I have seen absolutely nobody speak about this forest object is beyond me. I actually have no idea what this thing is. So if you go where you actually spawn in Mr. Stitchy, there is some very weird little object on that little thing. Now, does anybody actually know what this very strange object is? Because I actually have absolutely no idea. So if you guys do, again, let me know in the comment section down below because you guys may actually be right. But again, at this moment in time, I have absolutely no idea what this little object is, but Minitoon must have put that for some reason. He would not just go and randomly put some random weird little thing on this little balcony type thing. It has to be there for a reason. This thing has to be something. Number 18, the binoculars. So this one was actually a pretty big one when the alleys did actually come out but it seems as though we have all forgotten about these binoculars and as we do now know that William kind of went missing maybe these binoculars actually have something to do with the disappearance of William. Now these binoculars were actually found in the top story of the Leo's laundromat and there were basically two little kind of like Wally eyes just staring out. So maybe these binoculars do have something to do with William's disappearance. So maybe something that we need to keep an eye out for in the future. Number 19, boat change. Now at the time that this trailer was released, I don't think we really had the Medora actually in. So I would assume that the Medora is something that has been thought about since this trailer. So as you can clearly see here, you can see Georgia on the side of the boat. Now I'm guessing that this was the original boat that I think probably Minitoon just built just so that he could add it into the trailer. But now it looks as though we are going to be using the Medora. So it looks as though that this cutscene in future may still be there, but it might actually be on the side of the Medora. Again, Again, a pretty cool subtle kind of secret there you know it, it used to be a bit of an old boat and now we've got a bit of an extra one that is from Xperia it's either that or we're basically going to be getting onto another boat but I'm pretty sure that we are going to be using the Medora to go over the North Sea number five the seven potions now, I'll be honest, this is something that I never actually really 100% got my head around. So if I take you over into the outpost map, you can see here that this note basically mentions something about the seven potions, which is extremely weird. Again, I've never managed to get my head around this, but basically my understanding so far is that Mr. P only ever created seven potions potions what that means i'm not necessarily so certain so if you guys do have any brain knowledge about this then again make sure to let me know in the comment section down below i'm pretty sure that it's potentially going to mean something along the lines of you're only able to save seven people but i'm sure you guys have got a lot more brains than i do <laughs> number 20 true ending secret now I think that I speak on the behalf of maybe roughly 100% of us when saying that the true ending was a pain in the butt to get. However, one thing that maybe quite a few of us actually did miss is that in the true ending credits, all of the characters, all of the infected characters were actually missing. So we had a good ending and we had a bad ending and both of those actually did come with the credits as well. And in those credits, all of the infected characters were in the credits. However, but because none of those were actually true, none of those endings actually happened, we are only interested in the true ending credits. And all we do know 
is that all the infected went missing. Now, where have those infected disappeared to? Well, I think that that's maybe potentially something that we're going to just wait to have to find out. Number 21, Eye Whispers. Now, I'll be honest, when this secret did come out, I was literally going crazy. I thought that this was such a cool secret to add in. The only thing that I would have said is that maybe he could have done some spectrogram type thing where, you know, you put this sound into like a spectrogram and it actually brings out like an image, but I don't know how well Minitune does know that side of things. And I will admit, I did actually go ahead and take a like snippet of the sound and put it into a spectrogram. However, the spectrogram did pull up nothing, but I just love the fact that we, the player, the character, literally just what we spoke about, we can hear these whispers. So guys, I'm just going to play a little short clip right now of you guys so that you guys can hear this whispers. So that is as clear as you are going to hear it, guys. And I do think that this is probably in my top favorite five, I would say top five secrets in Piggy. This was a really, really good secret to add in. Number 22, the secret cutscene. Now this one was found at the end of the Gertie map. Now this one is extremely interesting because it goes kind of speaking about dimensions and stuff like that. Now this one is extremely exciting because I have spoken about different dimensions on this channel in the past. I feel like there could be a different dimension and that that is where the insolence is coming from. So now that we actually have some form of like, you know, speaking about the dimensions, this is extremely cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the end cutscene right now at the end of the Gertie chapter. So there we go. Obviously something was speaking to us. It looked as though that weird thing was basically telling us that it came from a different dimension. And we basically left it for somebody else to try and figure out how to get to that dimension in the future. Now it does look as though the player or the detective is quite interested to finding out about this dimension and could the insolence actually remain in that different dimension. Again, I have spoken about this on the channel in the past and this is kind of going downstream of things type route but with like this upside down type thing but kind of just merged with piggy now that would be absolutely cool to try and find this whole different dimension and then piggy book to chapter 12 to be this crazy weird looking dimension guys that would be insane number 23 mr stitchy notes now in a Halloween update, we had a brand new skin that kind of has now left a bit of a mark on us all. And this was the Mr. Stitchy skin that we had to spawn in in the forest. And this actually came with four notes. So I'm just going to read those four notes out right now. Now this one is in the carnival and this one says, when he learnt of my condition, he grew sad and frustrated. He left. Another note that came out in the carnival, this one says someone began to disrupt the countryside. The descriptions of witnesses matched his look. I never saw him again. So maybe we just have to try and find that witness. The next one came in the school map. Now this one says I gave him a face. I was his only friend. And finally, this one came out in the forest just where you spawn in Mr. Stitchy. This one says, do not draw the house with light. It will draw him 
do. Now, Mr. Stitchy also does appear in quite a few maps. He appears in the alleys. He also appears in the house. He also obviously appears in the forest because that's where you spawn him in. He also appears in the school and he also appears in the carnival. Now, it's quite interesting that he has not been seen for quite some time. He was hanging around in the early stages of the whole entire Piggy story. But Mr. Stitchy had not been seen since. Number 24, Particle Bunny. Now I'm not talking about this ghost bunny that is in the outpost. And I'm most definitely not talking about the ghost bunny that is in the plant. I am talking about this ghost bunny that was actually appearing in the trailer for a very split second. Now I feel like this secret right here kind of needed a little bit more looking into. I feel like this secret was kind of huge in a way and I feel like not really many people cared about it too much but the reason why this secret is actually so big is because that we are going to be having something to do with another ghost bunny in the future chapters so maybe ghost bunny is going to help us out some way or another kind of like well she didn't really help us out in the plant did she really but i just love the fact that it, it wasn't like a ghost doggy that popped up in the trailer or anything like that it was literally a ghost bunny but it wasn't even a ghost it was more particles so that is most definitely one thing that confuses me about the ghost bunny is that she doesn't even appear in her ghost form anymore she literally appears in particles like tiny little dots so could that mean that the longer that this is all going on the more chance that she has not surviving could this mean that her time as a ghost is basically running out and the whole kind of like presence is basically dissolving well again guys i would love to know what do you guys think about this in the comment section down below but i'm actually really really hyped to see how this particle bunny is actually going to appear in the future chapters and if I was to put a random guess out there, I'm pretty sure that she is going to appear in this whole kind of distorted memory-like chapter that we will be receiving in book two. And yes, the one that we're probably going to be ending up playing as Pony. I just want to put that one out there. I'm putting that as a guess right now. But Particle Buddy, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon, okay? Number 25, don't trust the SI. Now we got a secret note in the mall map and this note was kind of cut off half of it and it was really frustrating for everybody but it was a really really good idea. Now this note basically said don't trust the SI. Now people were going through it maybe people were thinking sisters don't trust the signal don't trust the simp i don't know however it kind of came out that people were thinking that it was don't trust the silver paw which we now know is tsp however i have included this secret in here because i feel like this still is not confirmed this could well still be something else it may not even be speaking about the silver paw this note is speaking as if we are going to trust something at some point but we are being warned to not actually trust it now we were never actually going to trust the silver paw because we had pony by our side so maybe there is something out there potentially now i say this all the time i feel like it is still going to be don't trust the signal and that it is going to be something to do with that beacon in the flashback trailer but don't let this one slip your mind guys because i still feel that this don't trust the si note does mean something else number 26 forgotten store note now this is a note that a lot of people have actually forgotten existed and this note did actually get brought up on twitter just the other day and when i saw this i actually thought you know what i actually don't remember seeing that note so we're just going to go over this note and then you guys are going to go down into the comment section down below and you guys are going to give me your predictions as to what do you guys think that this note actually means so in the store note just in the garage you literally look right underneath the car and there is a note that reads out saying i heard something going on up north with the military i wonder why they'd move their bases to colder places you were a poet and you didn't know it Whee! 
<laughs> so basically the military is moving to a colder place for some reason now nobody really knows why and there was this thing that happened in stranger things which again i feel like mini tune could be kind of linking towards here as a bit of inspiration for the storyline of piggy now in stranger things there was this big beast this creature this something that actually hated the heat and to draw this monster out of this young boy they basically had to make the room extremely hot so this monster actually liked the cold this monster literally lived for the cold it had its windows open all the time and was literally trying to stay as cold as possible now of course like i said when they tried to make the room extremely hot they turned on all the heaters and stuff like this the creature actually left the small boy's body the creature inside of the boy could not handle the heat which is why this creature basically fled now could minitoon be using this storyline as a bit of inspiration could the creature that we are about to see have something to do with the temperature could the main creature or the main enemy for piggy book two part two could this actually hate the heat and that guys could be the reason as to why we are heading up north but again like i said i would love to know your theories down in the comment section down below number 27 the factory machine now I'm going to take you to this machine right here which is in the factory. Now this machine, it's still working, it's doing something. What is it creating? What was Willow doing in that factory? Because whatever this machine is creating or manufacturing, it is actually creating something. It is working. There are conveyor belts going around in that room. So what is Willow actually trying to make here? Could she be trying to make some potions to cure the infected? But again, this factory, this machine type thing, it is working. It is actually running. And I would love to know, what do you guys think that she is trying to create here? Do you think that she's trying to do this for bad reasons? Or do you think that she's trying to do this for good reasons? Or do you think that she is just simply trying to make something else? Or again, do you just simply think that it's nothing? <laughs> Number 28, Distorted Memory Eyes. Now I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite secrets inside of Piggy. Now I'm sure that we're all aware of this secret right now, but this secret actually I'm sure has something huge with the future of Piggy. And I would just like to point out that these eyes are not matching to Mr. Stitchy. These eyes that you guys are looking at right here have two red rings, meaning that there is either a character out there that is infected with these kind of eyes or the insolence, whoever the insolence is going to be, is going to have these very two eyes. Now, what do these eyes mean? Well, we know that George is also infected in the distorted memory chapter. But we do know that it is kind of a dream sort of thing going on. So maybe it's going to be true that he is infected, or maybe it's going to be false that he's not really infected and it was just all basically a dream. But my understanding here is that whatever these eyes are that are looking down in the garden of distorted memory i was almost going to say identity then with my game show <laughs> but whoever these eyes belong to i'm pretty sure that they don't really need to bite or scratch anybody to make them infected i feel like this is in fact george's nightmare that he did see these eyes at one point and then he became infected so when this character does come out i feel like if you take one look at them in the eye you could become infected but i'm sure the remaining chapters will let us know number 29 Lucella Now that Ali's came out I think maybe around September time last year and I think a couple of weeks had passed or so and then Minitoon came out with saying actually there's a pretty big secret that nobody has yet found and so everybody was looking up high everyone was looking down low everyone was trying to get into that freezer and stuff which also guys we will be speaking about later on in this video but the big secret here was that the gallery was literally right next to the alleys and this was basically the introduction of Minitoon bringing in all of these kind of like cities and stuff and so we know by now that you know we are actually in the city of Lucella but Minitoon did also say that there are going to be more like cities more like towns and stuff like that that are going to be revealed further down the line number 30 grainy notes 
Now, just the other day, I literally put this picture up on Twitter. Now, you guys may be asking, why did you put this picture onto Twitter? And I actually asked everybody, do you guys realize what is actually off in this picture? Well, guys, we have that grainy note that is, of course, always signed by Mr. Stitchy. Or, of course, if we see a grainy note, it's by Mr. Stitchy apparently well long behold this grainy note is in fact signed by doggy so it looks as though that these grainy notes are not always going to be related to mr stitchy it looks as though that this grainy texture on these notes basically mean that these notes are just old now i do feel like we've gotten ourselves into this kind of like position where every single grainy note that we see now is going to be by mr sitchy and there's also another grainy note that is signed by daisy right at the end of the alleys map where you just literally turn your camera around there is another note on the wall literally right there that is signed by daisy so that is quite interesting that these grainy notes are not always going to be related to mr stitchy so guys i think that when we see these notes in the future we need to stop saying oh look there's a mr stitchy note because it's not a mr stitchy note it's literally just old i'm saying this like i knew this all along this is news to me as well I'm, i'll be i'll be honest this is news to me too <laughs> Because when I saw this note, I was like, oh, dang, it's actually not Mr. Stitchy. This one's signed by Doggy, which is extremely interesting. So I do find that this secret is actually one of the coolest that I do have on my list here. Number 31, the carnival. So with the big update that we did receive recently, Minitoon did speak in the interview that we did do with him, basically speaking about changing up the carnival. You know, Creekcraft, he said that he doesn't like the carnival. So what Creekcraft says, that means everybody doesn't like the carnival. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, I actually quite like the carnival. I think the carnival is a pretty decent map. But anyway, I understand what Creek is saying that, you know, it's a bit open and you can't really catch anyone if you're the piggy. So there's really not that much point. However, Minitoon went ahead and he basically changed up the carnival a little bit. So if you play the carnival now, there are more stalls in the way. So it's not such an easy run through and stuff like that. And also Minitoon did actually change up the outside wall of the carnival as well, simply due to copy copyright notices so of course this is all mr p related and styled and stuff like that and mr p was originally the super potato out of pepper pig now pepper pig they you know went ahead and messaged minitoon and basically said can you change up your game a little bit because it's a little bit similar to pepper pig so of course minitoon got back to them and he was like of course i'm i'm deeply sorry i will change it up right now so obviously that part of the game actually had to be changed up because mr p he went from being a yellow potato and now he's a purple potato so obviously the outside wall of the carnival now is purple instead of yellow number 32 Mrs. P sightings. So finally, guys, now we are going to speak about Mrs. P. Now, Mrs. P and kind of William, I suppose, are the main talking point about this whole piggy storyline. Mrs. P, she got, you know, she got oofed. <laughs> Okay, no, so Mrs. P, she actually got unwell with a disease called lineoma, lineoma, however you guys would like to say it. But still, we have no idea what has actually happened to William. But potentially a secret that again, we are all overlooking. Now, Mrs. P was in fact in a window in the city. Now, what does this mean that Mrs. P was seen in the window of the city? Well, guys, Minitoon kind of basically confirmed it in an interview saying that Mrs. P is infected. So maybe at some point we are going to be running across lines with Mrs. P. But she's not going to be quite the same little Mrs. P that we remember. I think the next time that we see Mrs. P, she's going to potentially have some red eyes on her. But guys, only time will tell. Number 33, the Tigri Key. One thing that has never actually made sense to me is that Tigri never took the key to the boat. He literally took the key to the security. So that is one thing that doesn't make sense to me. So if I take you to Piggy Book 2, Chapter 7 right now, Willow basically tells us that Tigri took her boat, but... He didn't actually take the key to the boat, Willow. So what are you talking about? Tigri actually took the key to the security. Now, what could Tigri be doing with the key to the security?
security. Well, guys, again, we're going to have to wait and find out a little bit more on this one. But this is something that I feel that a lot of people and a lot of creators have actually overlooked. Tigri never took the boat key. He took the security key. So how did Tigri manage to take Willow's boat? Number 34, my creation. Now, if you guys didn't know about this, then I'm about to tell you guys something pretty cool. What if I was to tell you that I actually own something that is inside of Piggy, something that I once created. And yes, I'm talking about this piece of graffiti on the wall right here in the sewers. Now I did create this piece of graffiti. Obviously there's quite a few pieces of graffiti around the place. And at the time Ikea's tweeted out saying that she basically wanted to give us guys the chance to you know design a bit of graffiti and have it put on the wall for ourselves now i was i'm in an r in as to you know do i want to do it do i not want to do it and the reason why i did want to do it is because it was graffiti now i own a massive interest in actual graffiti here's an image of me right here next to a bouncy piece literally right close to my house well near it i i, I suppose near it not 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 anywhere near it but like you know it, it, it's in proximity <laughs> And I do actually have a Banksy, you know, tattoo on my arm as well. So that is the reason why I actually did decide to do this because of course, these sort of things are normally for you guys to do and not normally for creators like myself to do, but I just wanted to give it a go for myself. And if Ikea's did say no, then you know, whatever girl. <laughs> But this creation literally right here is created by myself. Now it wasn't actually done how it was supposed to be done because there was actually a lot more to the actual thing. So I will put the actual image up on screen for you guys to take a look at literally right now. Now obviously there was this like stenciled out like mouse with a roll of paint type thing down in the bottom corner as well. And it looks as though they didn't actually put that on. And there was also more missing on the graffiti, which you know what, it's cool. It's cool if you didn't want too much on it then that is fine. Number 35, the insolence. Now the insolence is a pretty big talking point within Piggy Book 2. And courtesy of a good friend of mine, JB Bolter, he managed to get Pony to actually say this word. The insolence watches. Huh? What did I just say? A strange voice just came into my head, but I don't remember what it told me. So JB had absolutely no idea how he managed to get Pony to say these words. So either it's a very, very random thing, or it's just extremely hard to actually get Pony to trigger saying this. However, there were also another couple of secret messages that I am going to go through here. So Minitoon also tweeted out at one point a bunch of letters and numbers and at first this kind of just looked like a jumble of words but guys it was actually a secret message now this message actually read out saying that i doth watch from the underneath the i doth seek those who are meek now if that ain't some shakespearean poop i don't know what is <laughs> So it was a pretty interesting set of lines right there. The I doth watch from the underneath, the I doth seek those who are meek. Very, very interesting. But also in the safe place, we also had another note. Now this one looked very, very similar to what Minitoon had once tweeted. And this one does also give us a secret message. And now this one actually reads out saying, the insolence watches thy crimes those that will haunt thou for lifetimes. Okay, this is most definitely Shakespearean because of the thou bit <laughs> and the thy, like, come on. So there is most definitely some form of secret entity going on here. Number 36, Doveport. So in the end cutscenes of Piggy chapter seven, the port, you can clearly see that we are heading across the North Sea into Doveport. Now is Doveport going to be chapter nine or whatever we're going to be at chapter nine? Could chapter nine be Doveport? Or do we think that Doveport is literally going to be basically another name for Lucella? So maybe we're gonna stop off at Doveport and then we're gonna go to different places inside of Doveport. Maybe we're gonna go to a theater or we're going to go to a pyramid. Obviously, we're not going to go to a pyramid. But what I'm saying is that Doveport is going to either be chapter nine 
or it's going to be the next city inside of pig. Number 37, distorted memory messages. Now these notes at the time were pretty cool, I'll be honest. Now there are quite a few wall messages in this one, so we're going to go over all of those just to kind of rejog our memories because these are obviously secrets that kind of explained what happened back when the infection first hit. Now this first note basically says they were fine when they came back, but a few hours while you were asleep, something came over them they weren't the same. So obviously when the Piggy family returned back home, they were completely fine. There was no issues, there were no infections, nothing whatsoever. But a few hours, again, while you were asleep, something happened. They changed and they weren't the same. Now that is actually a really cool note because obviously it takes time to be infected. It does also prove that you don't have to be infected straight away. It does take time. Now the next one you'll be able to find down in the jail cells. Now, now this one basically is very simple and it says where to George now could this be the insolence speaking to George after all we do know that those red eyes are in the sky in the garden so where to George that one is actually pretty interesting to me it sounds like somebody is actually mocking George and kind of winding him up in a way so what are your theories on this one now the next one says they left you when they went to volunteer now this one is clearly speaking about the piggy family just basically saying that they need neglected George when they went to volunteer to try and, you know, test out this whole new vaccine, this whole new substance 128. They basically neglected George, they left him alone, and they went to volunteer. Now these notes, I will say they are pretty cool. They're not really notes, they're more wall messages, but these are notes, you know, that we don't really get to see anymore because distorted memory was taken out of Piggy. So it is most definitely worth just bringing these up every now and again, just to remember these just so that we know what actually happened. Number 38, Zizzy's Sword. Now in the safe place in book two, this one is a pretty quick one actually. Zizzy's Sword, it kind of went missing. So we had Z, we had Zuzi in the safe place and they both escaped through a vent. However, both of their swords actually laid there in the safe place. However, Zizzy had her own room and in Zizzy's room, the sword was not there. Now this could tie in with the fact that Zizzy is about to cut off her own arm because she got infected in the refinery because she got scratched by Poli. So maybe Zizzy has still got her sword potentially or somebody has got her sword, taken it to Zizzy and is going to cut her arm off. And then potentially Zizzy is going to make a return but robotically. Number 39, the research team. Now this is something that I actually didn't know about since when I actually did this piggy quiz that my friend JB Bolter actually made for me. Now there was actually a research team that Mr. P actually, you know, got together. He got them together to try and figure out how to tackle this lineoma disease. And we know this because that there is a note that is in the plant map. Now I'm actually glad that this came up in the piggy quiz because I do like to think that I have a pretty decent knowledge about piggy and that this is something that I completely forgot about. So this reads out saying, Miss P, Sheepy, Bunny, our initial a group is gone. Now, the researchers are too. I am truly alone, Mr. Bardet. So Mrs. P, Sheepy and Bunny was the initial group of this research for the lineoma disease. And this obviously does confirm that Mr. P has confirmed that Mrs. P is now infected. Sheepy is infected. Bunny is infected. They are all gone. But again, a pretty cool secret to know that this was actually a thing way back in the beginning of Piggy, that these guys were actually friends. These guys were the research group for this this disease. So thank you for that one, JB Bolter. Thank you very much. Number 40, Cracks Accord. 
I did see this tiny little secret somewhere on Twitter most recently. Now, did you guys know that when Billy was introduced into Piggy, that was actually meant to be the Kraxacord skin? However, I believe that there were some issues going on with this Kraken skin at the time, and that is the reason why Tenuous Flea did actually bring out Billy instead of the Kraken skin. I think I may go and try and get a bit of confirmation from Tenuous Flea on this so I can get, let you guys know a little bit more in confidence but this is actually a pretty cool secret i had something again i didn't even notice until the other day that the kraken was actually meant to be billy when billy was released so of course we got billy back in book one and then we finally got the cracks called kraken skin in book two chapter seven again a pretty cool secret number 41 station crack quite a few things going around in the station and for this secret that you guys may have forgotten about I want to be taking a look at this very crack in the wall in this cell now none of the other cells have any crack like thing at the back of their cell however this one right here is literally the only one to have actually a crack in the wall and bear in mind guys that in this cell there is also a note so there was most definitely somebody in this cell that was actually alive at the time now off the top of my head that note reads something like it can't find me in here can it i am safe from it so obviously whatever was in this cell they were not infected at the time but they knew about an infected walking around in the station so maybe whoever was in this cell they used this crack in the wall to try and escape could this have been willow could this have been tigery or could this have been pony well guys i'm gonna let your guys imaginations run wild on that one number 42 note font Oh boy, have I been on Pony's back for the old book one series. Guys, Pony has got something still to say and we still have not gotten any closer to what it is. Is. Now we know this because in the end cutscenes of the uh, storm map, I do believe it is where, you know, Zizzy gets taken captive by Willow and her friends and her posse. Literally, she, Pony speaks about being, you know, he's been a naughty boy. It basically tells us that, you know, that there's a story for another day and that they're the silver poor. But guys, it's been quite a few days since that time, Pony. So... Yeah, get out of you, will ya? Now, I did have some theory that maybe Pony kind of met Willow in prison or jail in the station or something like that, and then Pony did something bad. Potentially, you know, swapped around the vaccine that was Substance 128 to actually save Mrs. P, and maybe Pony actually swapped these potions around and caused this entire infection. I think that that is what I'm leaning more towards at this point in time, but this is quite interesting and still something that we need to find out in the future. So what do you guys think that Pony has done? That obviously there is a story for another day. Please let me know in the comment section down below what are your theories on this matter. Number 43, Pony Story. Now, if you didn't notice in book two, there are a few fonts on these notes that actually mean that they're unique towards a certain character. You've got Willow's kind of handwriting. You also have Tigri's handwriting and normally Tigri actually signs his with a T at the end and stuff like that. But there's also, you have to look towards the font. Now, there's one very, very interesting thing about this one that I bet that you guys did not even notice. Now, if you take a look at the mist the stitchy notes that were in the carnival you know the uh forest and stuff like that these are all very similar notes they have that grainy texture on the background and all of the fonts are pretty much the same now if i take you all the way over to the sewers now and i take you to that beacon note you will notice that the beacon note is very similar to mr stitchy's style so does that mean that mr stitchy is kind of canon in the sewers now guys again i'm still very skeptical about mr stitchy even being canon in piggy but this could actually be some form of hint some form of secret that we didn't really notice that could hint towards the fact that mr stitchy is in fact canon and that hurts me to say that because you know i feel like he's not actually a thing <laughs> 
but just know that these fonts on these notes are kind of unique to the characters and that Mr. Stitchy's notes were very, very similar to the one that you saw in the sewers about that beacon. So again, let me know what do you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. I would love to know your theories on this one. Number 44, chapter seven and nine notes. Now, I'll be honest, this one was a pretty silly secret that I decided to add in there. But I promise you guys that the final secret, number 10, will have you guys thinking. And I will actually also do a completely separate video covering that secret. But anyway, secret number nine, chapter seven and nine notes. Now, this is very pointless. I don't know why I added it in here, but, you know, I kind of just added it in here. But anyway, we're going to speak about the chapter seven and nine notes. Now, all of the notes that were in these maps that you could actually find were actually actually in drawers. So normally when we have notes, they're on the floor, you know, they're up on the wall, they could be on like a, a seat or anything like that. But all of the notes that were in chapter seven and also nine were actually in drawers. I know that's very weird. Number 45, player infected. Now, did you guys actually forget the fact that we was once infected? Now, of course, in the end cutscenes of the school, we did become sick. And we were also wheeled all the way to the hospital, but Mr. P saved us. Of course, we were wheeled with Bunny, but we did also see a little glimpse of Doggy. Although, just to point out, guys, yes, at the moment, it is just a glitch. Doggy is not disappearing for an actual reason. He is just completely glitched out of that storyline so he is still there guys just to put that out there mini tune did confirm that one but that's why i want to link this to us hearing the insolence now we know that pony can hear the insolence we know that george could potentially hear the insolence in the future but there were traces of the infection inside us but mr p did actually go ahead and save us well as well as bunny i guess we should give her a little bit of credit as well she did wheel us along but i don't know who actually saved us but one of those two did save us but bear in mind guys that the character the player that you are playing you did once get infected so again maybe that is going to have a big part in the storyline to come number 46 the seven potions now i'll be honest this is something that i never actually really 100 percent got my head around so if i take you over into the outpost map you can see here that this note basically mentions something about the seven potions which is extremely weird again i've never managed to get my head around this but basically my understanding so far is that mr p only ever created seven potions what that means i'm not necessarily so certain so if you guys do have any brain knowledge about this then again make sure to let me know in the comment section down below i'm pretty sure that it's potentially going to mean something along the lines of you're only able to save seven people but i'm sure you guys have got a lot more brains than i do <laughs> number 47 the frozen door in fact seen inside of the alleys now a lot of people did speak about this and they did think that there could well be some form of secret behind it and some people thought that this was just a completely random room that you just can't access but what if i told you guys this quite a few months ago i was actually speaking with minitune and i was giving him a few ideas to add into piggy and the one thing that did came up was a room that you cannot access. Now, maybe he took this along and, you know, he took this idea and actually implemented this into Piggy. And this could well be, in fact, this freezer door that you are seeing inside of the alleys. And if it is, I would say that that is a pretty cool secret because I love things like that where you just cannot get inside of this room. Now, again, I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure that this room at the moment means absolutely nothing. I know that quite a few people have managed to glitch inside of the room and they have confirmed that there is, in fact, fact nothing inside and i'll be honest again i don't think that you're going to be able to access this freezer at any time soon and if anything i would say that this freezer is just going to explain something about the storyline further down the line number 48 willow's anger now willow was pretty grumpy let's be honest she uh oh she's a fireball isn't she now in the cutscenes, willow said something along the lines of hey look it's the officer that took my parents away from me well guys 
We actually didn't take our parents away from her whatsoever. All we did was literally arrest Willow, but along the sides of Doggy. Now, the officers that actually took your parents away from you, Willow, is Poli. And in fact, two Polies, not us. <laughs> so Willow, do be getting your facts right, my lovely. And we will be expecting a sorry in the near future. But just to confirm, we did not take Willow's parents away. So I don't know if that's a little mistake on Mini Toon's behalf. I don't know what you guys think about this, but we did definitely not do this. So I don't know why Willow has this great big anger towards us, because it should be towards Polly. Oh, and Polly was literally in the refinery as well, which is, you know, where Willow is all the time. And Polly was the one that actually infected Zizzy. So... I mean, Willow, you should know the difference between the two. So again, we will be expecting an apology, won't we, guys? Number 49, the vaccine. Now, guys, what if I was to tell you that we may have actually already handled that vaccine? The reason being is because in the plant, you actually get to use some vaccines or some potion making or whatever it is. You basically put it at the machine at the end. And that is quite interesting. The fact that, you know, Mr. P is also in that map. Now, I don't think that it's going to be, you know, anything to do with the hospital because those two potions were green and also purple and also... It it doesn't really link in with the flashback trailer because the flashback trailer does reveal a blue potion. But maybe one of these potions, these purple, these green, these blue, you maybe these potions, these could potentially be the future of the vaccine. And so maybe we have already actually done something with the vaccine already. Maybe we actually have it and we haven't yet managed to use it. Now that would be quite interesting if we was to get to the end of book two and we're basically trying to find this vaccine and all of a sudden we realize, oh, we actually had that way back in the hospital or we had that way back in the plant. That would be actually crazy. And finally, number 50, a Robux code. So guys, luckily for you, if you have made it this far in the video, then secret number 50 is going to be a secret Robux code. So here you go. K, 9, Y, 5, Q, 4, G, 8, 3, 9, D, Q, M, B, E. So let me know, did you find the other Robux code that was hidden in today's video? I know that this has been quite a lengthy video, so I'm going to keep the outro nice and short. Thank you. Bye bye.